Hello gamers and welcome to this first episode of Lore and Tactics, a series of videos that talks about lore and tactics of different models found in Middle-earth strategy battle game. In today's episode I will talk about the Moran orcs while painting up the last 8 models from the Battle of Osgiliath starter set. I hope you enjoy the video, let's get started. In J.R.R. Tolkien's Legendarium, the Moran orcs were a group of orcs who played a significant role in the events of the Lord of the Rings. They were named after the Moran, the Black Gate of Mordor, which served as their main stronghold. The Moran orcs were bred and trained by Sauron, the Dark Lord of Mordor, to be his ruthless soldiers and servants. They were part of his vast army, which included various orc tribes and creatures from all over Middle-earth. These orcs were known for their ferocity, cruelty and loyalty to Sauron. During the War of the Ring, the Moran orcs were instrumental in defending Mordor and preventing any threat from entering or leaving through the Black Gates. They served as a formidable barrier to the forces of good attempting to march on Sauron's domain. The Moran itself was a heavy fortified gate guarded by countless orcs, trolls and other creatures, making it a nearly impenetrable obstacle. One of the most significant battles involving the Moran orcs occurred during the climax of the War of the Ring. The armies of Gondor and its allies led by Aragorn sought to distract Sauron's attention from Frodo and Sam's mission to destroy the One Ring. They marched upon the Black Gates, hoping to divert Sauron's forces from their true objective. Although vastly outnumbered and facing seemingly insurmountable odds, the armies of the West fought bravely against the Moran orcs, while Frodo and Sam completed their mission in Mount Doom. Ultimately, the destruction of the One Ring caused Sauron's power to crumble, and the Moran orcs were left leadless and demoralized. Many of them were killed in the battles, while others were scattered or were hunted down by the victorious forces. With the fall of Sauron, the threat of the Moran orcs and their stronghold was diminished, and they became a defeated and dispersed force. The lore surrounding the Moran orcs is primarily found in J.R.R. Tolkien's novel The Lord of the Rings, as well as his extensive writings on the history and mythology of Middle-earth. Additional details can be found in the Silmarillion and other related works published posthumously based on Tolkien's notes. Now, let's go over the stats of a Moran orc. They have a move of 6, fight of 3 and a shoot value of 5 plus, strength of 4, defense of 5, 6 with if they equip a shield, 1 attack, 1 wound and 2 courage. They cost 7 points uh, for one model and can be upgraded with a shield and or a spear for 1 point each, or a banner for 25 points. A move of 6 is uh, fairly standard, so is a fight of 3. This means that neither them or their foes will have advantage on their dual roles most of the time, but the Moran orcs will have a disadvantage more often than an advantage against some enemies. They cannot have uh, bows, so their shoot value is not relevant. Their strength of 4, however, is quite significant, as this will allow them to wound on 5s a lot of the time, and even 4s when rolling to wound. Defense 5 is not great, but with the opportunity to equip shields, the enemy will need a strength of 4 to be able to wound on 5s. As most of the good models have strength 3, the Moran orcs are hard to wound. Attack and Wound of 1 is standard for warrior models, but Courage of 2 is bad. This means that when forced to take Courage check, you will need 8 on the dice to pass the test, which is only a success rate of 27%. My advice on Moran Orc's uh, tactic would be to give them shields when making the armor list. 
have heroes nearby if the force is broken or if you meet models with a terror rule. Try to outnumber your enemy to work around the fight value situation. This is not always easy to do, but with some clever maneuvering you can do it. And lastly, paint your miniatures. As everyone knows, painted miniatures roll better than unpainted ones. This is it for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with our latest videos and be a part of our growing community. We appreciate your support and it encourages us to create more valuable content. So go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you in the next video.